Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to round one of the uh, World Series 2021. Best of nine. And here we are with expert player Boyka in the red as they're trying to tag down at the bottom right of Sand Serpent. Up in the top left, we have Jimmy Bang. And he is with the green USA laser. I did a little bit of a laugh there while I, you probably heard me chuckling a little tiny bit. That's because he's making a barracks first. And also because it's named Jimmy Bang. And uh, all people are <laughs> loving this name on the forums. Uh, okay, let me tell you. Uh, let's just be straight up about this. Uh, in Zero Hour, if you are China or if you are USA, you never build a barracks first. Ever. If you're GLA, of course, yeah, you can build a barracks first. That's fine. But if you are USA or China, <clears throat> you want to build the power plant first because when the power plant finishes... That's when your second dozer builds faster, all your buildings build faster, and that barracks will actually build faster. It's counterproductive to actually build the barracks first. And already we've got some idle uh, rangers here, so... <clears throat> yeah, I'm not expecting very much from, Jim, from little Jimmy, to be honest. <laughs> let's just be uh, let's just be upfront about it. Uh, I do have to be careful, though, because um, quite a lot of the... Uh, players in, in the World Series, I actually end up casting their games, and they're actually viewers on my channel, so I can't be too harsh, and I'm not going to be, I'm not just going to rip him to pieces, like, for, for a start, he's turned up, and he's given it a go, and that, that's what counts, we've got the activity, uh, it's the, the biggest prize pool <coughs> in World Series, actually, and maybe in Zero Hour history, $3,500, so... Um, it's definitely something to celebrate, but yeah, barracks first, typically if you see that, you automatically think, okay, this is going to be an easy win. That's just like the honest truth. <laughs> uh, but we have got Boyker here, so maybe he's going to make this 100% uh, show. And we have got a, quite a normal build order going on. Apart from the barracks first, he has got two supplies. Okay, only three schnooks. He is getting the oil. We do have War Factory barracks. And he's getting some uh, missile defenders. This one here is going to get denied by Boyker though. Boyker was a uh, tank, yeah, so he's got the more powerful Gats. Uh, slightly vetted, one vet, and also you get um, cheaper gats as well. They're 700 compared to 800 for the normal. The other, the other Chinas. Okay, so uh, this is a full V drop here. It looks like. Um, but the problem is, you want to move that Chinook uh, because you don't want to lose a $1,200 Chinook at less than three minutes. But this V is being a bit of an nuisance, actually. I don't know, maybe, we'll count, maybe I'm counting Jimmy out a little bit too quick here. That V is sent to his death. Doesn't achieve anything. But sometimes that can happen. If, you, if you're going for the dozer hunt and um, you, you really want to get the dozer hunt, then uh, yeah, sometimes that can happen. Did he take out one truck, though? I don't know. And Boyker hasn't actually made a second truck. I don't know if Boyker forgot it or he got killed. There's already a gat in the base, and there's four Chinooks here now. But now is the wrong time to have four Chinooks. There's already a gat here. And already one is significantly damaged. Those are here will probably get cleared up. Boyke. I mean, Boyke, I'm not going to say he plays absolutely perfect. Like, he's not, not some super computer, but it's very it's rare that Boyke's going to make a, a a bad build order. He's going to make a bad mistake or whatever. So you, you're going to need a flawless... Uh, what I'm saying is you're going to need a flawless performance from the USA in order to beat Boyke, especially on this map against tank because the Ch chinas actually do pretty well on this map because of the choke points that the v's have to run into the the chinas actually do very well so you, you are going to have to put in a flawless performance if you want to beat boyker on this map it's just the honest truth uh okay v's are going to engage these gats and one gat almost goes down uh, there's no ambulance with the army though so it's not going to um repair this army uh, he could make a few Crusaders. What was he? Just USA Vanilla. He could make some Crusaders. I don't think Paladins are worth making. Pretty much almost ever. Some some situations you can make them, but Crusaders are certainly good. And especially if you get the um, Composite Armor upgrade from the Strategy Center. Because um, I've been told many times that the Composite Armor actually benefits Crusaders more than Paladins actually like uh, the, the Crusaders actually get a double bonus uh, Gat's actually moving in now with the ECMs and 1v does go down I don't know if Boyk has lost any units yet uh, the first Gat has gone down or at least the second Gat maybe another V gets trapped here and goes down this one's going to go down Boyk has this, the chain guns as well by the way so they're going to do 25% extra damage and this V has absolutely no chance here there's another Gat now in his base 
<clears throat> and this V ultimately does go down. He's lost all of his nukes, and that is over. That is GG, and he quits. That's it. So, <laughs> uh, we need a scoreboard actually. So, I'll add the scoreboard with 1 0 for Boyka. Okay, jumping into game number two. We have Boyka now in the top left with the USA laser in the red. And down at the bottom right, we have got Jimmy Bang, the orange, or Jimmy Bang Frog is his full name actually. But the uh, the G is actually missing off, and we've got him with the China tank. Oh man, look at this. He's building his barracks first again. When look, that's going to finish like literally 0.5 of a second later, but because Boyka did his power sooner. He's able to start his supply sooner, so his supply is going to be already finished, whereas his supply is just going to be starting. That's why you don't do it. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm in two minds with Jimmy Bank. Um, yeah, it's good to have the activity. It's good to have people taking part. Like some, a lot of people, obviously, are just watching or not taking part. So to actually take part and actually compete against one of the best players in the tournament, which is Boyka, is definitely something. But another thing is, the fact that he's doing the barracks first indicates he's probably not watched any pro replays at all. Not done his homework a bit. Uh, we've got a drop here from Boyko. Wants to kill this guy quick. It looks like he's dropped a dozer and a missile, uh, sorry, missile defender little squad here. And uh, building a laser turret. So straight away, Jimmy Bang is not going to be able to collect on this supply. And even if there's a troop crawler out there... Ooh... Ooh. Okay, just stop the missile defenders, but this laser turret is going to get up. That's quite a nice position. This truck's not being moved out of the way. Uh, Jimmy Bang Frog is going for uh, the oils once again. He's got the Veteran C on the Red Guard, and he's got two Red Guard here, so this Ranger can't actually go in at the moment. Uh, Boyka's units will be a bit thin on the ground at the moment because he has done this laser turret and he did drop three MDs. But um, he is geared up to try to get two oils. But yeah, that one there is definitely... Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we seeing here? Jimmy Bang could have killed that ranger. And we've got Jimmy Bang now. <laughs> this name is just funny, man. We've got Jimmy Bang now in the main base of Boyka. Harassing the Chinooks, but uh, yeah, Jimmy Bang is still not collecting on this main supply. He's made an outpost, but you probably need a couple of troop crawlers or an outpost troop crawler to deal with this, I think. Just outpost alone is probably not going to cut it. Boyka is securing the oils at the top, so he's going to have three oils in total. Jimmy Bang has three at the moment, but it's about to change to three to two in Boyka's favor. Unless Jimmy Bang manages to stop this one, but I don't think he can right now. He's only collecting on one truck, Jimmy. And he's... Oh, it's actually got another supply over here. Okay, so he's on three trucks that do stand corrected. I mean, dealing with that laser turret drop in the, in the beginning is always, always difficult. It's such a powerful defense. So when it gets up, it's difficult to deal with. Um, so what has Boyki got? He's amassing some Vs. He probably just wants to go across the map and kill the base. If he just avoids the mid and then just goes like here. And yeah, he should be able to get through pretty much uncontested. There is a, uh troop crawler here now but with the help of the dozer it will win that's why you need like a troop crawler and an outpost or um two troop crawlers or something because the dozer if it does help will cause problems so jimmy bank is going to expand to another supply here it looks like he's sending some gats into the main base but boyka has a laser tank he's upgraded his power as well we can now in the main base and i think this will just be a cleanup operation really just uh Simply clicking on and killing Jimmy's base. Jimmy doesn't have a lot at all. He's made a troop crawler here, but the red guards are all falling to the Vs. Vs simply just micro him back. Nothing too special. Uh, these gats will run into a laser tank, but chances are that one gat probably will get tucked in the back. If he's controlling them, though. Okay, 
Okay, Wanchenuk will go down. So well played there by Jimmy Bank. Two, both cats did get cleared up. Laser tanks back in your base like this are useful for um, defending. Half the time you can just leave them on guard mode. And whatever comes in, they will they will clear it. Apart from outposts, of course. Outposts are the counter to that. Boykura is now uh, actually establishing a supply in the bottom right spot. He's got his uh, laser turret still there. Keeps it nice and secure. Wick has now killed one of the ores here. He's still got this one. There is a red guard chilling there, though. Uh, outpost there has gone down. But these tank hunters do take not very much damage from these laser tanks. But actually with the Hellfire drone. That's actually well played there by Boyka. Going for the Hellfire as well as that. Because then it helps clear up the, uh, the infantry inside as well. Very, very nice. Supply there gets cleared up. Another gat coming in now. Boyka just needs to focus that down or laser lock it. I don't think he's paying attention right now. He's just looking over here instead. One V does go down. There's a flamer in the mix now as well, but flamer is not very good against the laser tanks and missile defenders. This gat will actually sneak through, but there's another laser tank there, so that gat will get cleared up eventually. And it's really just this spot. I think that's the last dozer there. Last War Factory, so when that War Factory goes, it's 100%. Well, it's already decided, really. <laughs> it is already decided, but that will just be probably at the point where Jimmy Bank quits. Red Guard are going to push the Vs away for a second, but it doesn't make any difference. Jimmy Bank throws in the towel. GG. 204, Boyka. Okay, jumping into Canyon of the Dead, game number three. Down at the bottom left, we have Boyka with the red, Julie Stealth. And up in the top right, we have Jimmy Bang or Jimmy Bang Frog with the Gile Tox in the blue. So Jimmy Bang got the strong army this time. A little bit of a misclick there with the worker and a little bit of a wonky supply. Got Boyka going for fast supply and then into a um, <clears throat> fake barracks. It looks like it's going to be a TNT. And maybe this is going to be an aggressive tunnel here from Boyka. Barracks in a little bit of a weird spot here from Jimmy Bang. And the workers are left standing idle for a few seconds. You want them ideally to start collecting or start building Symphony SAP in the beginning. It's difficult to do. You've got to be good at multitasking, moving all your workers, numbering them and stuff like that. But um, yeah, if you, if you want to take down a player like Boyka, you need to be having all the workers doing Symphony at the same time. So we've got a, a sneaky tunnel being deployed here by Jimmy Bang. Worker here is going to scout this worker building a tunnel. Boyka is preparing a TNT. And another tunnel over here for Boyka. Wanting to secure his third supply area. Um, how many terrorists are in there? Is that four or five? There is five out now. Boyka's going to go inside of this tunnel. And then probably pop from here, go straight into the main base and probably get the TNT off. Um, a stealth, like I said, you've got disadvantage against um, in stocks. You either want to get a really good economic lead or you want to um, do some nice aggression in the beginning. Like take down the arms leader and kill a load of workers and then take the advantage from there. Nice TNT there from Boyka. He killed the uh, technical there as well. Another technical just chilling here. He could actually move in and kill a load of workers here as well. Even if you just sacrifice the tech. He could even kill some RPGs as well. Yeah, he does. He gets vet to Kills a load of workers. He's got a spare terrorist there somehow. I don't know how he's got a spare terrorist. I don't know how he's got a spare terrorist. That's stealth. Very weird. So it takes all five terrorists to take it down to the hole. So how did he have an extra one there? It's very weird. Okay, so we've got a big quad push with a load of RPGs now moving into the base of Jimmy Bank. Boy, you're not hanging around wanting to make this go long. He knows he can win here early, I think. And this is the perfect amount of stuff to break through these tunnels. Even though these Tox tunnels are strong. Boy, he's actually putting his RPGs at the front here. Actually, yeah, it seems he knows that the RPGs actually outrange the tunnel. Little bit of a pop there for Jimmy Bang, but Boyka just moving in, clears everything up. Terrorists here are going to run to their death, and this supply here looks like it's going to fall.
more forwards than Oli Boykia. Again, Boykia's just playing this near, near perfect. I think he's got, um, his workers not collecting here, as I say that. <laughs> and he's only got four here, but them workers are definitely not collecting. He's not collecting. Oh, he's not collecting because this one is outside of the box. You want to get that inside of the box. Boykia moving in, kill, killing these tunnels. Supply there has gone down. He's got a vet two quad. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Bang. It's going to take a bit of a miracle, isn't it, for him to win this... <laughs> Turin to win this game and win this set, I think. Uh, technical here. Comes out, gets one kill, but goes down. This tunnel gets finished. This is why this tunnel over here is a bit of a weird position, because it wasn't securing the oil, and it wasn't securing his second supply. It was just kind of in the middle of that city thing. So, um, yeah, needed to really be on his second supply. So, 3-0 for Boyka. Jump into game number four. Boyke will now get the chance to play with the GLA Tox, which is, like I said, the stronger army. And he is playing in the red color down in the bottom left. Got Jimmy Bang Frog with the <laughs> with the orange GLA stealth. Jimmy, Jimmy Bang, he definitely gets the best name in this tournament, that is for sure. Definitely, if there's an award for best name, he gets that, even if he goes out in this um in this set here against Boyke. So no fast barracks from uh, Jimmy Bang there. Barracks is actually quite delayed and he's actually left a gap there. Which will let a technical through. So this could be a TNT, but it's going to be slow. Um, Boyke will probably have some tunnels and RPGs. Well, actually, he'll, ha he'll have them ready anyway, but he'll probably be more prepared for it. You need to be as quick as possible. You want to get in and out. In and out bandit. <laughs> Oh, I've recently watched a film, Honest Thief, with Liam Neeson. And he gets called the in, in and out bandit. <laughs> because he uh, he robs places and leaves no trace. And I thought that was pretty funny, considering we always make a joke about in and out on this channel. <clears throat> so we've got boy, uh, sorry, Jimmy Bang actually establishing another... He likes this city, doesn't he? He likes to uh, establish some aggression here. This could be useful, actually, now, because it's the more aggressive position. It pops some technicals out and just keep rallying them in there to kill the uh, kill the workers. We've got um, an aggressive tunnel here from Boyker as well. And the first technical is out. Actually, Jimmy Bang has done a double arms there to build. And they are both real as well. Okay. <laughs> Absolute devastation there. Almost killed the supply as well, but this is the, the, the arms deal has gone down. Technical also went down there. It would have been nice to leave the technical as a second to kill other workers and, de and then detonate the terrorists. The terrorists didn't die to the splash damage. We've got another tunnel being established by Jimmy Bang at this bottom right spot. Tunnel being built here by Boyka. Low technicals moving in the base now of Boyka. This is a decent bit of harassment, I suppose. Take RPG here for Boyka, and he will get some scrap there as well. Uh, Boyka's done a nice little box going on here. Boyka definitely needs to learn to put his workers in there. I think if he just selects them and just simply clicks inside, the workers will just move inside. Boyka doesn't seem to know that, and therefore his um, economy is hurt. <clears throat> yeah, hurt a hell of a lot. Yeah, the last thing you want is them running around the long way. Boyka trying to move in for the kill again. Uh, this supply looks like it will fall. We could continue in the push, and I don't really know if Jimmy Bang can even survive the next minute, never mind survive this game. Yeah, Boyka has closed down the arms dealer. As well, the second arms dealer. It's a bit of a weird build order. I don't think you can afford to do a barracks and a tunnel, two arms dealers and spam. I don't think you can, so... Yeah, you sp your spam will definitely be cut off, especially when you're only collecting off four workers. So I don't think you can do that. He's actually established another supply over here. I mean, like, like I said in the beginning, at least uh, Jimmy Bang is giving it a go. And at least this was a GLA mirror as well, so he couldn't drop down the barracks first and screw himself. Interestingly, actually, with the with the GLA, he actually didn't drop down the barracks first. He actually dropped it down a lot later. But maybe it's just because got on that map, the Sand Scorpion, that's why he did the barracks first. Um, Yeah, maybe that is why. Let's 
so we can nose there is a supply here because he saw one of the workers and I think he even saw the supply at one point so even though it's, it was stealth it is going to go down Boyker also knows there's units here as well because he has built uh, units inside of there so he scouts it GG and 4-0 so jumping into the fifth match then we have Boyker now in the north with the red China vanilla and then down the south we've got Jimmy Bank with the Gillet Demolition in the green. So, I mean, if you're going to win against Boyka, only 4-0 down, probably one of the GLAs against China isn't a bad one for it. Isn't a, a, bad, uh, a bad matchup at all. You do have more expensive quads and more expensive technicals as demo, which does hinder you a little bit. So it would be better with, like, with Stealth or with um, even Tox because you've got the more powerful RPGs and... And tunnels. Um, but yeah, with demo, the more expensive technicals and, and the quads do slow you down a bit, that's for sure. And he's going for a arms dealer over here. Is there going to be a second arms dealer once again? I don't think so, because he's dropping down a decent amount of tunnels. On this left-hand side, we've got another tunnel going up. And uh, Weaker actually has gone for a truck rush. He's going to probably stop this tunnel. Uh, you want to stop the arms dealer. There is a terrorist going over there. We could see, can't seem to kill that one worker. I don't think that's the priority. I think these are. But either way, he kills it. It wasn't micro out of the way. Flamer here kills that other worker. Will Boyka see this tunnel now? He should do. But does he want to engage it or is he just going to go straight for the kill? I think if your truck rush has worked, you know the GLA is occupied at least for the next minute or so. So this flamer actually might get some big damage then. It's going to go straight over here. That truck does go down and Boyka scrap the denies. There is a helix out now. Flamer is going to be intercepted by the tunnel on the RPGs, but Boyka still might win the engagement. I think he needs to start his flame wall a little bit closer too, though. Boyka lost quite a lot of HP on that dragon there, so it will go down. And Jimmy Bang has got a scrap to tech now. I don't think it's super tech, but regardless, there is a Gatlix in the base now. And unfortunately for Jimmy Bang, he's got a load of technicals. And yeah, you need quads just now. Uh, I don't know if he's got a flamer. Yeah, he has. He's dropping a flamer. Nice play there from Boyker. He's going to probably go in here. Start a flamer. What is Boyker doing with that at the moment? Another flamer going over here. But yeah, the War Factory and the uh, Supply... Both going to go down. Technical runs into the flame wall. Not what you want to do. And the Gatlex takes it out. I mean, there's not enough quads now. So, I mean, it doesn't even really matter if even the best player in the world stepped in and played for Jimmy Bank. Right now, it can't be won, I don't think, because he has no quads against the Gatlex. Uh, arms dealer going up here, but only on one supply. It's not going to be that great, I don't think. Technical there. Just doing some harassment. For this. Is that another Elix? Yeah, it is. I think this might be the quickest set of games we've watched so far, no? I think it is. Um, okay, it's just our arms dealer remaining now. That's going to go down. That tunnel doesn't count. That tunnel's going to go down. So yeah, it's just that building. Uh, he's got one technical. <laughs> Poor little Jimmy. Technical goes down to the gat, not my grid. I don't think uh, Jimmy can't have any confidence now. I mean, at least he's played the games, I suppose. At least he's played the games. He gave it a shot, gave it a chance. Ultimately, he did qualify, so he must have come in the top 150 on Revora or top 50 on Clan Wars. You would argue that um, qualifying is quite easy to do. Like getting top 150 on Revora, basically choice. anyone can do it. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking, like, it's been, like we said before, and like someone commented on a previous video, there's been quite a lot of five zeros in round number one. How do you combat that? Um, and I think maybe the thing is you need to make the qualification bar a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, I haven't quite pinpointed exactly what that would be. 
But yeah, maybe you've got some kind of idea. Maybe it goes to top 50 on Revora and top 100 on Clan Wars, because generally Clan Wars better players are better than Revora players. So maybe you'd say top 150 on Clan Wars, top 50 on Revora would be better, something like that. Because Revora players, like no experts play there to my knowledge. We all play on Game Ranger now, so. Um, yeah, GG. Well played to Boykia. Nice try from Jimmy Bang, but ultimately uh, not good enough here to take down one of the top players, which is Boykia. So GG, well played, and see you in the next one.